Hi everyone, I'm Peter Smock. Welcome back to another edition of The Life Athlete. Uh, I'm still down in Todos Santos. Uh, if you saw some of the earlier video blogs, um, I feel like this is kind of a second home to chill out. Nothing very exciting, but uh, quiet, restful, uh, place to go hang out on the beach. Those of you that know me, you know I love the beach. It's like that's where I grew up in Southern California. The other great thing about Todos Santos, fresh fruit year round. Got a bunch of oranges at the uh, local produce store that would have uh, put any one of those produce stands up in the, the northwest to shame. I mean, it's amazing. From cactus to avocados, as cheap as you can imagine. I think I must have eaten about 15 pounds of guacamole since I've been here. Terrible, terrible thing to do. Um, I've enjoyed every moment of it. So what I wanted to do, and take a sip of OJ first, and uh, I'll tell you a little story. Um, the life athlete is simply about learning and knowing and uh, having me share with you uh, things that I have learned that I've been taught um, from various coaches and mentors along the way to make being in this body uh, easier uh, so that I felt better, uh, I performed better in my competitive days and basically um, hopefully we all look better because of our exercise regime. So the question is, you know, how do you do it? How do you exercise? What are, the, what are the, the pitfalls? What are the hurdles? What are the roadblocks? So that's what a lot of what the life athlete is. And it's simply uh, me sharing with you kind of a lineage of what I've been taught. Some of it's original to me, so a lot of it is not. I'm just, I'm just the conduit to you. So here's one thing that you don't want to do when you're exercising. I don't care if it's lifting weights, doing yoga, Pilates, hiking, on your bike, it doesn't matter what it is. And it's simply that when your joint starts hurting, a joint, elbow, knee, ankle, spine, a bunch of joints, um, hip, you know, it goes down the wrist. Um, if they hurt while you're moving, uh, it's a yellow flag that could become orange, that could become red. You don't want to go to red. So tendonitis is something where a tendon, which attaches bone to musculature, gets irritated. And tendonitis can come from a couple different ways. One is by doing too much of something when you haven't built up to it. Uh, you did uh, it too, for too long. So you, like you haven't been running and all of a sudden, oh, I haven't been running for a year. I think I'm gonna go out and start running and you run six miles. All of a sudden your ankle hurts or your back hurts. Um, and then it's something too often. You do weight training every single day, seven days a week. When a, when a joint starts to hurt, you wanna pay attention and you don't wanna continue on. You wanna stop. And that's not a good thing to do. Story, point in mind. So about a year ago, I met a, a fellow who came to my gym, uh, Zoom in Seattle, where the life athlete happens. And uh, he was working with a trainer and came in just for a one-time visit uh, to have the trainer look at his ankle. Brian Buxett, very gifted 20-year master trainer, as I would describe him, took a look at his ankle. It was kind of moving it around, trying to get more mobility in it. And I met this gentleman who was probably late 50s. I said, oh, how you doing? Uh, what happened? He says, oh, I, I uh, banged up my, my ankle running a long time ago. Well, how long ago was that? Well, about 10 years or so. Wow. Okay, what, what happened? Well, I was out running. You know, I ran, you know, five days a week, uh, you know, four miles a day, you know, maybe it was four times a week, five miles a day, whatever. It was like day in and day out. And one day, he said, uh, I felt my ankle. And I decided just to push through it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't push through it. Uh, so he pushed through it. Uh, he did not pay attention. Uh, I'm putting words into, I'm, I'm making an assumption here that he probably had this idea that he should push through, uh, maybe uh, because you know he's a macho guy. I don't know. He didn't seem like a macho guy. Uh, he thought it was you know you see either go home or go hard and go home. Uh, I don't really know. But bottom line is he pushed through it and he continued to run, and he can't run anymore. And uh, that's a sad story. So the the point being is. You hear these phrases all the time, well, I'm just going to push through it today. I mean, even if people are sick, does that have anything to do with joints or tendons? 
Oh, I feel a little down, my energy is low, let's just push through it. Uh, no, I feel a little tweak in my elbow doing bench presses, now let's just go ahead and push through it. You know, oh, my back's a little achy today, let's go ahead and just push through it. I can do it, I can, let's, let's just go. And the thing is, that this is so prevalent among people who exercise and people that have had bad experiences exercising that it really gets in the way of participating in movement, weightlifting, biking, hiking, whatever you do, um, in a way that's lifelong and sustainable. That's the life athlete way. I'm, I'm just sharing things that my coaches told me to say, hey, pay attention. You got to pay attention to what your body is saying. Uh, otherwise, um, look what happened. Maybe you can't exercise anymore. Maybe you can't run anymore. Do something that you really enjoy doing. So the point of it is simply pay attention to your body. This is a, a magnificent gift that you have. It is truly a miracle. And it is your responsibility. You are the caretaker of this body. And uh, I hope that you will want to do it in a way that's wise and not out of ignorance. And if I can share with some of these things with you and help you along the way, um, you know, that's what I'm here to do. So don't let your mind go there when it says, oh, I feel something, but I'm just going to push through it. Don't do that. That's not good for your body. And it's not good for the longevity of your sustainable approach to fitness, not for today, not for tomorrow, but for the next decade, two or three, knock on wood, <laughs> that we can all do it for that long. All right, that's another edition of Life Athlete. Uh, go forth, exercise, keep moving, and take really good care of yourself. Until next time, goodbye.